Good morning and welcome to our weekly devotional. I'm Pastor Cassie here at Forest Hills Church. And today I'm bringing you a devotional from Nina Keegan from Christian Broadcast Network. I was reading through this and she talks about the changes in life as it pertains to a new school year. And I heard so many connections to my own life right now that I just had to share it with you guys. So she writes, when my kids were young, I loved taking them to pick out their new backpacks and school supplies, clothes and shoes. We would spend the day knocking it all out at once as we store hopped on a determined buying session. We checked it all off our list as we braved the trenches of school supply aisles and the local super centers. We would be armed and ready for whatever the new school year could, would bring. As the first day of school closed in on us, endless questions plagued my anxious mind. Would the kids like their new teacher? Would they get to be in the same classroom as their best buddies? Would we all have to get into a new routine, back to making those bag lunches and after-school snacks? There would be rides to practice and piles of homework. Of course, there would always be a few extra trips to the school to schlep out the carelessly forgotten gear, lunches, or assignments. These days, the school supplies in my family have been replaced with apartment furnishing, car insurance, and college textbooks. There are many times I wish I could go back to those days of making those early morning waffles floating in maple syrup before school. Those days that seemed so rushed, stressed, and hurried are now just cherished memories of a time I wish I could go back to. It has blown, flown by so quickly and without my permission. They are suddenly grown and gone. I realize that as we reluctantly hand our kids over to new teachers, dorm rooms, coaches, and even their own apartments, we can simultaneously hand them over to the complete and unchanging, infinite protection of God. He can and will be there to pick up the slack for us weary, anxious parents. We can trust him to always be there when we cannot. Whether our kids are coloring at their first grade art table are 500 miles away from us in college campuses, we can trust that the Almighty God is watching over them and he will never leave them or forsake them. Hebrews 13, 5 says, Don't love money, be satisfied with whatever you have, for God has said, I will never fail you, I will never abandon you. I like to start my mornings, coffee and Bible in hand, sitting on my back patio with a dog curled up next to me. It's where I have my morning prayer time with God. It's where I hand it all over, my concerns, my fears and worries. And I ask him amazingly to bless these days for my children. I ask for his ultimate protection over them. And I visualize them covered in full securing armor of God. I pray that his, per his, that his perfect will be done in their lives and that they would make wise choices according to his word. I ask for his unceasing favor and noble grace to be upon them. I ask for him to send a legion of his heavenly angels to surround my children continuously and to pluck them out of harm's way. I pray for wonderful Christian friends and teachers to surround them. I visualize that mighty hand of God holding them up, so safe and protected, so strong and changeless and unfailing. Then, as I continue on in my day, I know that my words will not return to me void. I know God has heard me, and if it is his will, he will honor my request. So as we begin this in all new school years, and as we are diligently packing up the school gear, waking the kids up early, and sending them out the door, let's send them securely wrapped in the Lord's arms with an abundance of favor and blessing heaped on them, dressed in their new shoes, and of course, dressed in the full armor of God. Will you join me in prayer over our school kids and teachers? Father God, this is our first week of school here in Forest, Hill, Forest Lake, and we just ask that you be with all of those students, whether they're here in the school districts or the surrounding neighborhoods, or if they're far off at college. Lord, we ask that you put your protection over them. Keep them safe. Give them wisdom to make right decisions. Provide them with counsel in your name. And we ask for friends and teachers that will uphold them, not in just learning and social skills, but in spiritual decisions. Lord, we ask that they find comfort in their church homes, whether it's their home they've grown up in or new church environments that they are finding off at college campuses. 
Lord, we ask that you be with their teachers and their deans and counselors. Give them the strength and the energy to meet the needs of these students. Have them feel your hand upon them, guiding them in the direction and the words they need to say. Lord, we ask that you be with the parents, whether it's first time in kindergarten or 11th year of school or new college parents saying goodbye for the first time. Lord, we ask that your peace be upon them. Take their worries and anxiety and bring them up to you. Lord, let them know that you are watching their kids more than they ever could. Lord, we ask this all in your name. Amen. Until next time, keep calm and carry God.